What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be continuing with our Cronus True Image 2016 series. Now in this one uh, we're going to be talking about how we can restore that system image if the system becomes unstable, uh, corrupt or full of malware. Now you can do that from the desktop if you're at the desktop but if you can't boot the system up because it's corrupt you can still restore that system image and that's the way I'm going to show you today. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. First off you're going to need to create uh, the bootable recovery CD in Cronus True Image 2016 and uh, you can either do a CD or USB flash drive and I'll show you that in the next video it's a really important step and you should be doing that uh, as part of your uh, recovery plan so what we're going to do next is boot up to our uh, Cronus bootable recovery CD and uh, run the program from a live environment and then find our uh, external drive where we've got all our backups stored and restore that image from there. So let's reboot the system. Okay, so we've now booted up to our Acronis True Image bootable CD and we've got some options open to us here. We've got Acronis True Image 2016. Now this is great if you want to recover an image and restore that system back. Uh, if the system becomes unstable and doesn't boot to the desktop, you can still use a Cronus True Image to either back up or recover your images uh, to a location of your choice. Now, I've got all mine stored on uh, a USB drive, which is my passport drive, and uh, we're gonna click on a Cronus True Image here to restore that image back. So we'll just let this load up now sometimes people may have trouble with a mouse setting or something like that if you've got a different type of mouse it may have trouble and uh, if you are having trouble you can still uh, navigate around this uh, system by using uh, your tab key and uh, you can use the tab key to uh, tab around as you can see here you can see it changing by using your tab key if you want to use your mouse and it does work you can just click on whatever you want to do now you've got some options here home backup recovery and log and tools and utilities we're going to use the recovery part in this video. Uh, what we need to do here is refresh our backups and this is going to try to locate our uh, backups that we've got located somewhere on the system. Now I have got the uh, USB external drive plugged into uh, the computer so what it's going to do is scan for those backups. So it will just run its scan here so just hit the refresh backups and it will run a scan on that computer. Even if it's not booted up it will still run a scan and try to find those uh, images that we've got backed up. Okay, so that's took a little bit of time to finish its scan and it's now found the entire PC backup that we created. As you can see here, it gives you the date of that entire PC backup that we created. We've also got a file backups, which is in my folders. I created that backup as well for you in a previous video. And you can see here the disk backups here you can see the actual uh, backups we've got here. Now, if they're not being detected, you can always use the browse for backup. And as you can see, this is now opened up and you can see we have uh, all the uh, tree here where we can go through and find our drive and select this drive and, and locate our backups. We can also locate the Acronis Cloud and so on from here. Uh, my FTP, my NAS connections and so on from this location if it's not being populated here. It has been populated so we're going to use this one. So as you can see we've got the full backup here. I'm going to right click on this and you've got some options open. So we're going to look at the uh, recovery part here. So we hit recovery and now what we need to do is uh, we can click on next and as I said if it doesn't work you can use the tab key but we're just going to recover the whole disk and partitions and uh, what we're going to do is disk one we're going to select the whole lot here and then we're going to go next and as you can see now it's give us an option to uh, locate the drive that we want to do which is this 100 gig uh, VMware drive which is what I'm showing you uh, on uh, we're going to overwrite this and this will be your PC drive where you're going to overwrite that drive with your image so once we've done that we're going to go next and it will say to you that the hard disk drive 
you have chosen contains some partitions that could contain useful data. Make sure that you've backed up any previous data from there before you continue, otherwise you're going to lose that uh, data. So we're going to click OK here. There is some options here. You can click on the options if you wish. Validate the backup if you wish. So we're just going to proceed here um, to continue. And uh, it's going to start to recover the data from there and then put that back onto that partition there. So I'll just let this complete and then I'll come back when this has uh, installed that image back. Okay, that's the task now completed. Uh, we can now restart the system. Um, so what we need to do here now is just close this off. And this will then start to boot up the PC. So you can see the image has been safely installed properly. And there you can see we've now installed our image successfully and uh, we're back to uh, the desktop here. And uh, as you can see the importance of creating backups is the fact that if you've got a corrupt Windows or you've got malware on the system you just want to revert back to a known good image that you created uh, with all your programs and all your stuff on it then you could just roll that back to that uh, image that you created and you should be back up and running in about 16 minutes it's without any sort of uh, inconvenience to yourself considering that if you didn't do that you would have to completely wipe the system install everything and install all the updates install all the uh, programs back and everything else this can take considerable amount of time and that's why it's important to make backups on a regular basis anyway that's how you can restore an image uh, using a Cronus uh, true image 2016 my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and get notified when I upload new videos if you uh, if you've got any problems with your computers or anything like that or you've got any video requests or you wish to speak to me then head over to the forums the information's on the screen right now if you want to hook up with me on uh, my Facebook fan page you can also go over to there the information's on the screen so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your continued support and I shall see you again in the next video bye for now